morning YouTube. It is Saturday, July the 6th, and today I'm just gonna be vlogging from home. I have some stuff to do around the house. Um, I have some schoolwork to be working on. I have some laundry to do. I'm not, I'm not sure it's gonna be super exciting, but I love watching other people's vlogs around their house. I just, there's just something about it. So I figured I'd give it a try today and I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Um, yeah, but first we need some coffee. started um, I think what I'm gonna do first today is I'm gonna work on editing a video that I've already started editing so I can get that up and then um, and then we'll see what comes next you good girl you sweet girl start tidying up around the house and I will bring you guys with me. Every time I clean up her toys, 
Yeah, I'm talking about you. She goes over and starts pulling more out. No, it looked like she didn't do it this time. Luna, are you a good girl? Hi, are you a good girl? Yes, I'm the best girl, aren't you? Aren't you the best girl? Oh. <laughs> so the background of my kitchen is a little messy right now, and honestly, it's gonna kind of stay messy. I'm not putting a lot of this away. So, um, brownies are in here. Those are staying. In that jar back there, I have seeds fermenting. I actually probably need to work on that today. In that jar is tomato seeds that have been fermenting so that I can dry them. This is what's going on here as well. So I have two different kinds of seeds that have already been fermented and they are dry. I have seed packets coming from Amazon so I can put these away and then, yeah, I need to do those as well. Um, buns that don't fit in the bread box because we have so many other breads in there right now. Um, cookies, I don't know why there's a used paper towel on top of the cookies. That must be my husband. <laughs> and over here, we'll do some cleaning up. We'll put away the coffee stuff. But I have all these tomatoes from my garden in the back. So those are gonna stay. So it's gonna be, you know, half, half cleaned up. But you know, our kitchen is a room that we use a lot. So it's never really fully, everything is never really fully put away. So I'm just gonna do a little tidying, a little cleaning up, and I'll wipe down the counters. And oh, look at this poor sad pothos. I need to, I need to be a better plant mom. Man, he's so sad. I did water him, but you have to pull off all these dead leaves. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> this is right here this is so so sad <laughs> so I am growing basil in my backyard you can actually see it through the window right there that's my basil and I had brought some cuttings into the house and as you can see they I mean they rooted in the glass but I kind of let them dry out they weren't there weren't really very many leaves that left on them because we cooked with it so I think I need to clean this up get rid of those. Maybe I'll do some fresh cuttings and get some fresh basil in the house, but um yeah, we need to we need to do something about this. All the dead leaves so he's not looking quite so sad he's nice and watered now so I mean these things grow back so quickly but now they look so much better why why did I let those dead things sit in the window so for so long I don't know but yeah nice and clean now
huge mess as you can see I really just need to make the bed and just clean up some random stuff um, I'm actually gonna change the sheets today these are clean sheets on the dresser over here so I'm gonna change the sheets and just tidy up a little bit in here <laughs>
supposed to be here anyways. I have Joanna Gaines, Magnolia Table Book. Got it for Christmas. Um, I honestly, I haven't really looked through it much. I just love how it looks on our... I just love how it looks on our coffee table. I just think it's a really nice looking book. So I have that and we just got to keep our coasters on there and our remote. I have this candle holder from Target and just I switch out the candles all the time. And then I have my um, Palea, or Palea, I think is how you pronounce it. This little house plant right here, and it's on a um, Baker Creek seed catalog, as you can see, and I'm a golf ball, um, because I did not know, but this is a very porous plant pot, and I didn't realize that, and it started to like leave mold on the top of our table, so until I get a, oh gosh. So until I get a tray, I need to do because you can see the water is starting to damage the catalog so I really need to get a tray for that guy um, and then you know Harry Potter he's everywhere and then on the bottom it is a little like it's just a little tray it's just got magazines and stuff in it no big deal and then on this table I probably need to dust again I feel like I just dusted the other day um, we have 
have a few more books, coffee table books. They're both beer related, craft beers. We have food and beer and Atlas of Beer. Another candle and just some cute little stuff. My Xenographica air plant and this cute little owl rock that my, my mother-in-law gave that to me. And then on the bottom of this shelf, love, 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 is my, on the bottom of this shelf is my illustrated Harry Potter books. Cannot wait for Goblet of Fire to come out this year. So excited. I need to get History of Magic. Somehow I missed that release last year. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be getting that real soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, which was Friday, the July 5th, and they're live streaming from their California trip about the earthquake, which I've never lived through an earthquake, so I can't even imagine. Um, however, I have lived through hurricanes, and those are pretty freaking scary, so hopefully they can calm down and enjoy the rest of their trip. Love you guys! And then about five minutes later, the big one came. So satisfying to fry eggs. All right, so I'm having some rice. Um, there's a little bit of soy sauce on the rice, and I've just fried up two eggs over easy. And then I'm also going to put on this sriracha mayo that I made. It's um, just Duke's mayonnaise and sriracha that I've mixed together. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on top. I'm going to salt my eggs. I have some green onions over here. I'm gonna put those on. And then I'm gonna finish it off with some black. I'm gonna finish it off with some black sesame seeds. type of like rice with eggs sometimes I'll do scrambled eggs with avocado and salsa or cut up tomatoes um, with maybe some beans and some hot sauce so I just love anything with rice and eggs for breakfast it's just really filling and it just kind of lasts kind of past lunchtime I mean at this point it's 11 20 so it is basically kind of a lunch it's just a late lunch so I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch and then I'm gonna get ready Really the only thing people care about, right? The money shot. Mm. So I'm enjoying my lunch. Or breakfast, whatever. And I'm watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Mindy Minks. I actually just recently started watching her videos, but I'm obsessed, um, as well as like everybody else that follows her. She is so down to earth. She's so real. She loves Harry Potter. I want to be your friend, Mindy. Can we hook up? Can we like go to Universal together? Because I want to be your friend. Um, 
So I'm watching her latest vlog right now. Let's see if I can focus on her. There she is. And she was like, I don't have any makeup on. And I was like, girl, I feel ya. I don't have my makeup on yet either. And I'm not going to a microderm whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to a microderm abrasion appointment. So love you, Mindy. If you see this, I want to be your friend. Let's be friends. Hey guys, so I finished eating breakfast. I've got laundry going. The bedroom is nice and decluttered and the living room and kitchen are nice and cleaned up. So I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put some makeup on, maybe fix my hair a little bit and just kind of get ready for the day. And then I think I'm gonna work on some schoolwork. Um, I, I wanna get ahead a little bit. All my assignments are due on Tuesdays. So I'd like to try to get ahead of schedule so that I can um, just not feel crunched at the end of the semester. So, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go put some makeup on and I'll see you guys when we're done. <laughs> I had to show you guys. Luna has discovered the dirty sheets and blankets from the bed. And she has decided that that would be a great place for her to take a nap. Is that so comfy? Are you so happy to be in the bed? And the comfy sheets? Are you not liking the camera in your face? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Okay, I'll let you take your nap. So guilty. All right guys, so I'm done getting ready. Makeup is on. I decided not to do much with my hair. Actually, I didn't do anything to it because this is just leftover curls from like yesterday. Um, and it really honestly looks fine for being around the house. So um, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Uh, yeah, so I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go try to get some schoolwork done. Um, I'm gonna go into my office, which is totally not decorated. I'm gonna turn on the camera around and show you guys my office. Okay, so as you can see, this is my office. Nothing in here except junk everywhere. Um, it's actually not that bad, I've cleaned it up. A little bit, but yeah, so I have my desk and then I have my like little bookshelf with my printer and some books. My nail polish collection. Oh, this is a project. Maybe I'll film that one day. Um, yeah, it's just a big empty room. It's really nice. It's a it's a bedroom, but it's pretty small. There's a little balcony out front and there's a door going out there. It's really cute. Excuse the stuff that's out there. We need to put that away. Um, but we've only lived here since October of 2018, so this room just hasn't been prioritized. But I really, what I really want to do is I want to get some big bookshelves to put all my books and my Harry Potter stuff. And I want to paint in here. And yeah, so I'm hoping sometime this year <laughs> I get to do that. But for today, I'll be sitting and doing some schoolwork. Also... I think I'm gonna light one of my Harry Potter themed candles. Yeah, you can see there's just stuff everywhere. It's it's not very tidy in here. Nope. All right, so I have an assignment that I need to work on. It's not due till Tuesday, but like I said, I, I'm trying to get ahead because we have a busy month ahead of us and I wanna be able to get some things done before the actual due date. So this is me working ahead and I'm actually creating a PowerPoint presentation um, for this assignment. So what you're gonna see me doing is um, kind of preparing uh, some slides for this slideshow. And then I'll give you a little glimpse into um, what my online grad school experience is like. So. Thank you.
still says Winterfell on it, I believe. Um, they can't do that anymore. <laughs> but it says, I'll have to go look at it. I don't, even, I don't even remember what it, I don't even know what the new ones are called now, but I will link these down below so you can go check out their website. They're awesome. And if you're curious about my Honeydukes mug, this actually came from Honeydukes uh, in Hogsmeade in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Orlando. So um, you can probably order these off of their website, but if you're at the parks, I totally recommend going into Honeydukes. It is, it is a treat for sure. <laughs> promised I'd show you what my online classes look like so I just started the program back in May so this is my first semester and the semesters are split into two sessions so I just finished a session a week ago well now it's yeah a week ago and now I'm starting the B session the, the summer classes are six weeks long so it's really 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 fast um, I'm attending Arizona State University and I am in their master's program for curriculum and instruction in early childhood education. So I have been a preschool teacher for the last nine years. Um, I am not a certified teacher, but I did recently start working in the public school district and realized that to go anywhere in this career, I have to get certified. So I am taking a master's program and I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what it looks like because I know for me, it's been nine years since I graduated from undergrad and it was a really big learning curve to get back into being a student and to learning the online platform. And so I thought it might be helpful for some of you to see kind of what it looks like to be an online student and um, what the, platform looks like for our classes. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like. Let me just turn this down so I don't get copyright issues. Um, so, hold on y'all. Do not want any copyright issues from this, okay.
All right, so this is what it looks like. It is the Canvas platform is what um, Arizona State uses for their online classes. From my understanding, that's a really um, widespread, it's, it's a very popular platform that um, colleges and universities are using. So these two classes, I'm sorry, no. These two classes are the classes that I've already taken, I've already finished, those are done. So the class that I'm in right now is this one right here. What is that? What is talking? Uh, it's an advertisement. Okay. So I've clicked on it and then it takes you to this page and then down here you can see um, This one's not six weeks, this one's seven. Oh. Um, you can see all of the lessons. And so if I click on lesson one, it'll take me to this week's lessons. And it's all my learning materials and then all of the different assignments. And it's kind of like a forum. So you can click within the discussions and you can post you know, your response. I'm not gonna like show details or anything, but um, yeah, it's kind of like a big forum where you like respond to people, you write your original post, then you respond. If you've taken online classes, this is nothing new for you, but totally new for me because I am new. And then next week's um, lesson is available, but then the rest of the weeks are not available until like a certain day. So we have to wait until that day for that le lesson to unlock. And I think they unlock a week before that lesson is supposed to start. So you can kind of work ahead. Oh no, there is only six. The other page is wrong. Um, and holy cow, look at, why does week six have so much stuff? This is why I gotta work ahead because <laughs> I don't wanna get left with all this stuff the final week because I did that last session and it was stressful. It was really hard. I'm proud of myself for what I accomplished, but whew, I do not wanna be in that position again. So, I am working on um, my week one assignments right now. I already have both of my discussions done. I still have to take the quiz and this is the one I'm working on right now, the slideshow that I'm working on. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna continue working on this and try to get it finished. Um, my husband is supposed to be off at three. It's 2.24 right now. He is probably gonna come straight home from work today. And I'd like to have this done before he gets here, but. I may not, so I'm gonna continue working. day I didn't finish vlogging yesterday I finished up my schoolwork um, I got all my assignments done for the week three days early so happy about that um, my husband got home we made dinner we watched the end of stranger things if you watch stranger things comment below um, how you feel about this season's ending because I was shooketh shooketh yeah I it's uh, I'm not gonna spoil it but I'm curious to know your theories and thoughts on the ending of um, season three. So I'm actually getting ready to hit the road. I'm driving down to Bluffton where I used to live, um, Bluffton, South Carolina, and um, I'm meeting my friend for a brunch. It's about a two hour drive, so I gotta get on the road. Um, I may or may not film, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna meet my friend for brunch and then maybe um, hit up a few stores while I'm there. I don't really have major plans. Um, so yeah, we'll see.